Hello my honeys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Bronwyn. I am a lifestyle, makeup, and fashion YouTuber. On this channel, you'll find a lot of lifestyle related content such as day in the life as a small business owner, as well as makeup tutorials, chatty get ready with me's, and styling videos, as well as skincare routines as I am a skincare specialist and skincare business owner. That sounds like your cup of tea. Definitely hit that subscribe button with the notification bell turned on or else there is only a 3% chance that you will see my videos again. If you are catching this video in your recommendation or YouTube home feed, then there is an even higher percent chance that you will never see my videos again. So if this community sounds like a place for you, definitely hit that subscribe button. Catch me on my other social media channels as well. But today, we are gonna be talking about something that I have always been meaning to make a video on. And if you can tell by the title of this description, then you know exactly what we're gonna be talking about today. How to always look good, specifically in the terms of fashion and styling. For the longest time, it took me years to find my personal style and what made the biggest difference from me, I have categorized into a list for you guys that equals out 11, 11 ways you can always look good and always be fashionable no matter what you're doing or where you're going. I literally get compliments everywhere I go. I go grocery shopping, someone's complimenting my outfit. I go to the pharmacy, I'm getting compliments. Heck, I'm even going through the Starbucks drive through line and I'm getting compliments. Now, I'm not here to brag, I'm not here to say, wow, I am the most good looking person ever. Absolutely not. What this simply comes down to is paying attention to what you're wearing, controlling your wardrobe, and actually putting an effort to ensure that you are decently groomed on a regular basis. Now let's hop into those 11 ways you can guarantee that you are always looking good. This one right off the top of my head is the biggest thing that changed my life ever since I started doing this. My wardrobe changed, my style changed, I always felt ready to be out in the public eye and it is immediately when I started getting compliments even when I have no makeup on and don't have my hair done. That first one is don't buy comfy clothes. I personally made this a journey for me ever since I lived in South Korea eight years ago. And this is really what inspired me to stop wearing comfy clothes. As soon as I landed in South Korea eight years ago, when I first moved there, I immediately felt underdressed. I went on the bus, I felt underdressed. I went grocery shopping, I felt underdressed. And what I took into account and noticed from that culture is that nobody is going to the grocery store in their sweatpants, yoga clothes, or pajamas. Stop Stop it, it's not a look, it's not fashionable, and it will consistently make you feel like you don't look good. There is a reason why these clothes are reserved only for the gym, being active, and being comfy and cozy in bed is because that's where they're supposed to stay. They're not supposed to be in the grocery store or the public eye other than the gym. Now that is for when you're shopping, but what about the clothes that you already own? It is time to purge. Purge your wardrobe. Do you have sweatpants that you wear and always throw them on, but you've noticed that you don't feel 100% attractive when you're wearing them? It's time to say goodbye. Donation, 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 donation. Now I'm not telling you to throw your clothes out. Absolutely not. Donate your clothes. Take a look at your wardrobe and notice, okay, what do I quickly put on? And do I ever feel like I look good in this? Do I ever feel attractive? Do I ever feel confident in this? If the answer is no, it's time for donation. Bye bye. Donating my clothes to charity was one of the best things I could have done for purging. Every time I move to a new house, every time I move to a new apartment, I always do a major wardrobe purge and I purge the clothes that I find make me feel less attractive or I find that are too close to being like sweatpants and workout gear. Number three no more yoga pants. This is such a North American western thing to do which is just going out and throwing your yoga pants on to run errands to go to the grocery store active wear is active wear and active wear is supposed to be in the gym let's stop wearing it as our go-to wardrobe keep the active wear for the gym number four on the list 
only buy classic clothes. If we look back at the late 1800s and early 19th century, what made everybody so fashionable back then is that they were always dressing their best. What made the aristocratic society so influential in terms of their fashion was that they were always putting their best presentation forward. And that is one thing that is such a contrast difference between our 21st century and the early 19th century and late 18th century is that the fashion has become so lazy. We are giving into the sweatpants, we are giving into the leisure wear, and yes, there are some leisure wear pieces that are super fashionable, but again, you're in your sweatpants. You're basically in pajamas. Let's stop that and take inspiration from the aristocratic society of the late 18th century and early 19th century and how they were always dressing the part and dressing for the job and dressing and putting their best face forward on the day to day, even to just go out for a walk on the streets. They were looking 110% all of the time. What that comes down to is buying classic pieces, looking at clothing styles that are always and consistently on trend and in style. Those classic pieces are gonna be your staples in your wardrobe and you're gonna get years and years and years of use out of them while consistently looking your best, feeling attractive, feeling confident and being presentable 100% of the time. Number five, accessorize always. You can take any simple basic classic outfit and immediately jazz it up and turn it into something absolutely stunning and gorgeous simply by wearing the right accessories. It is essential to always ensure that your wardrobe contains accessories that pair well with almost everything that you own in your wardrobe. You can immediately look expensive simply by adding the right accessories to the right outfit. Whenever I am going out, I always make sure to put some type of earrings in and some type Type of necklace on. Now I'm not one for rings as I personally don't like drawing attention to my hands so make sure you know what makes you comfortable, what makes you feel confident and avoid the things that make you feel not those things. So for me I don't like bringing attention to my hands so I don't bring attention to my hands and I bring attention to the features that I personally feel the most confident and comfortable in which is my face. <laughs> That sounds terrible and very shallow, but it is how you are going to be able to embody confidence and embody being fashionable and looking good all the time by bringing attention and bringing to the eye to the places that you believe are your best features. This can be wearing specific purses, specific bags, specific belts, and hats and gloves as well. It doesn't come down to just jewelry. Number six on the list, always be well-groomed. Now this does not mean you have to have a full heavy face of makeup all the time. Absolutely not. It means you're just taking care of your personal hygiene. You will immediately feel more confident if your hygiene and grooming is on point 100% of the time. This comes down to simply just making sure your eyebrows are neatly plucked. You can still have your natural eyebrows, just pluck the stray hairs away and make sure they are trimmed so that you can consistently look neat and tidy with your eyebrows. This also comes down to your hair. Don't go out with a messy bun. My gosh, you're looking like you just rolled out of bed. Comb your hair, pull it back if you don't want to style it, or quickly give it a blow dry to flatten and smooth away any flyaways out of the way. For me today to do my hair, I simply took a blow dryer and a comb to it really quickly because I didn't feel like straightening or putting curls in. It's as simple as that. Otherwise, you can even do a nice smooth bun at the back. Just stay away from floppy, messy hair if you want to feel like you are looking fashionable and looking good all the time. Now, I'm not saying a messy bun isn't on trend at times, but I do notice that the people that are embodying confidence are usually the ones that are looking a little more sleek, a little more well-groomed. This also comes down to your hands. Being well manicured doesn't mean you need to consistently have your nails done. That can be expensive, it can be timely, and it can be something that's just putting a little too much effort into your day to day, especially as someone who doesn't go out of the house too much if you have a work from home job. Instead, try to do something that's more manageable, and that is as simple as maintaining well cut and trimmed nails. You don't have to have nail polish on, just make sure they're trimmed and are not broken in in odd shapes. This can also be as simple as pushing back and trimming your cuticles maybe once a month. What you want to avoid at 
all costs is having chipped nail polish. If your nail polish is chipping and you can't keep up with it, don't wear nail polish or find an alternative solution to nail polish that's gonna last you longer if you don't have the time for regular upkeep as traditional nail polishes. Instead, opt for gel manicures or dip acrylic manicures that are gonna give you at least three weeks of wear time before you have to change it up. Or like I said before, just simply cut out the nail polish and stick to regular plain nails. This is one tip you can take from the modeling industry. Models are told to never have their nails done and if they do have their nails done it needs to be a simple clear coat or a very very light blush pink that is natural because the modeling industry does not like fancy manicures or old nail polish colors and that is one tip we can take away from the modeling and professional industry in terms of being stylish and consistently feeling like we're looking good number seven good skin over heavy foundation Bold, dramatic makeup looks look amazing on camera, but in person and in real life, it can look overdone, it can look cakey, and it can even bring out the imperfections and textures on your skin. Again, we're gonna take another tip from the modeling industry, and modeling agencies and casting calls do not like heavy makeup. They wanna see your natural face, they wanna see your natural skin and natural beauty. Take that into consideration when you want to look your best 100% of the time, and opt for the more natural makeup looks that means a tinted foundation a tinted SPF a tinted moisturizer and just really simple light makeup such as mascara a little bit of eyeshadow maybe a little bit of glitter and just cleaning up your eyebrows and your set for the day. Healthy, glowing, juicy skin and a fresh face is always gonna win over heavy makeup. Unless, of course, it's a big night out. Here's one that I personally love. You do not need to have designer clothes and bags to look fashionable and stylish. Again, what this comes down to is just simply having classic pieces in your collection that you can dress up with the right accessories to make it look expensive. You can buy very affordable clothing and immediately look fashionable without the high high cost of designer brands or if you want to be sneaky buy fake designer things there is no problem with buying knockoff designer products if it's going to be lighter on your budget and if it still makes you feel good now of course I'm not saying you should never buy designer pieces but I'm saying that it is not necessary to feel like you look good and look fashionable number nine you do not need to be following every season's trend to feel like you look stylish and fashionable. Again, stick to those classic pieces and when you're looking at those fast fashion trends, keep your eye out for pieces that you know fall into the category of things that are always fashionable all year round. Every single year this trend is reoccurring. Find those patterns in the fast fashion industry and you can still be on trend with what is currently in season while still having the option to reuse those pieces over and over again for the following years. Not only does this benefit your wardrobe and make it easier on your budget, but it also is better for the environment by not giving way to the fast fashion industry. For example, I am wearing this tweed set right now and that is currently on trend right now and it has been on trend for the past three years straight that I have noticed, but tweed is a classic that has always been a reoccurring classic style that has been popular ever since it first came out. Number 10, no wrinkles. Oh my gosh. You can immediately turn a beautiful outfit into something that looks cheap and unfashionable by allowing it to be very wrinkled. The best thing you can do for yourself to ensure that you're feeling confident, you're looking good, and you're being stylish is by investing in a handheld steamer for your closet. You can get them on Amazon for 20 bucks, 30 bucks. They are so easy to have and they're quick to use to turn any wrinkled outfit into something that looks fresh, crisp, and ready for the day. Wrinkles on your clothes will be the bane of your wardrobe. Ensure you don't have them when you go out with an outfit on. You will immediately look more expensive without wrinkles in your clothes. 
And number 11, simple is almost always better. Simple, clean, crisp cut pieces are always going to be on trend and it is an easy way to wear comfortable clothes still while still being fashionable and feeling like you look good as long as you accessorize them right. Let's take an example from Korean and Japanese street styles. There is always a consistent trend in these two cultures for baggy, simple, crisp clothing that is super, super simple and minimalistic, but how they make it be fashionable and on trend is by wearing the right accessories with it. So you can still wear those comfortable clothes as long as you're accessorizing them right. And that is it, you guys. Those are my 11 easy ways that you can look good always. These are the tips and tricks that I created myself eight years ago to ensure that I always feel like I look my best, that I can step out of my door always knowing that I am feeling confident in what I'm wearing, even if I am uncomfortable. And I guarantee you will start getting those compliments from strangers literally at the grocery store, and it will make your day and make you feel so much better now let me know in the comment section down below were any of these tips things that you already practice in your day-to-day -day life i would love to know which ones you have incorporated already and have noticed a change in your personal style or your day-to-day -day life when you go out of course if you liked this video do make sure you subscribe to my channel once again with the notification bell turned on or else there's only a three percent chance you will ever see my videos again so if you want to be a part of this wonderful community get more lifestyle fashion skincare makeup and styling kind of videos, definitely hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye!